Hi, I'm Ron Barr for EA Sports. Welcome to Summerlin. It's round two. We finished off with a par in our first round. And we're nine strokes behind the lead. Although... The leader does appear to have finished his second round, so... But I swear we were not nine strokes behind going, coming out of the first round there. But that's okay. We can get ourselves back in contention with some solid golf. That's not quite solid golf. That's, that's C-plus golf. It's actually turned out better than I had anticipated. We've got probably overall absolutely no break on this. Well, we've missed the... Oh! <laughs> it's just as well we did. So, right now luck already. One hole in. Oh, it might be okay, actually. There is a bunker down there. No, we're fine. Ah. I wanted that slightly less power than I had it, yeah. That's okay. Fringe isn't too bad. It's such a long hole that, you know, we're not expecting to get particularly close. We've got mostly left to right, I think. And we're putting on the fringe, so we're going to need to hit it. Yeah. We needed to hit it more than that. That's okay. Probably just a touch of left to right on this one. That's okay. What do we do? I think we go for this. Well, I started off uh, significantly further left than anticipated. Not particularly happy with that at all. Like this to go over the waste, which it has. There may be about 15 minutes of beeping in this video as my washing machine has just gone off, but that's fine. We can live with that. And if you say you can't live with that, well, I'm sorry to see you go. That could have been good. Could have been good. As it stands, it's going to be okay. Eleven feet for a birdie. On a docile green. We need to make these count. Good stuff, good stuff. Craig Stadler, par and hole four. Stay, stay four under par and move up to tenth place. Well, we're not quite there yet. But it's been a very good start. Pop your drive in between the bunkers. That should be good. Two sixty-three. <laughs> That's not quite what I had in mind for that shot, but we'll live with it. Bunkers in front and behind the green here. Yeah, we're gonna chase it onto the green. That's if we'd landed on the green, we would have been in a superb position there, 
as it stands, <laughs> we've got a hell of a putt. I think if this goes close, we're happy. We're happy. There wasn't much to be had on that putt. Yes, beep, beep, beep. I get it. I'm not going to answer it. So, 25th place. Don't like this hole. Don't like this hole at all. Don't have a lot of wind. We've hit it too hard. Okay, <laughs> so we're actually going for the bigger part of the green here, which is probably wise, although we are going to end up with a monster putt. 58 feet, 16 inches below the cup, and a pretty huge left to right movement. You give it a go. It's not awful. It actually didn't move anywhere near as much as I thought it would. It has left five pretty docile feet. That'll do. Power ball, power ball. Decent win for this hole. As long as you make it over the waist, you're fine. Okay. That could be very good indeed. Very good indeed. The wind's not quite taking it as much as I would like, but... That's very good, very good. Twelve feet. We have a strange green. That'll do. Birdie on hole eight to go five under par. It's Jim Gallagher Jr. Getting himself in contention. We are. I wouldn't quite say we're in contention yet. But I certainly wouldn't say we're too far behind. Generous fairway, heavily bunkered green. I hear generous fairway, and I think, how can I miss this fairway? A bit like that. <laughs> but actually, this is not a particularly bad spot to be in. Oh... It's a particularly bad shot, though. I'm not saying that. 25 feet for birdie from where we were. Considering the shot we took. If it's not in, it's close. I don't think, if we'd hit it a little harder, I don't think it would have gone in, to be fair. Craig Stadler, bogey on hole 8 to go 4 under par. I like that it's given us players who are not far above us, like, not far ahead of us. We're now in 15th. Ah, I think... Play this one relatively safe. Well, saying that, <laughs> there wasn't much of a chance to stop it. <laughs> We're hoping for the wind to take this. It hasn't really. The tough putt coming back now. The green's not bad. Got away with one now. I did 
definite birdie opportunity. Well, we've got to try it. That's pretty good. That's going to be about 285. 301. Hello. Oh, we're in a divot. You know what I'm, what I'm thinking? As soon as we get about 250, 260 away, I'm like, can we, can we chase one up onto the green? But as soon as you're in a divot, that takes minimum 20, 25 yards off your shot. This is a tricky one. I mean, a pin hit would have been lovely. We're going a little left to right on this one. And just bang it in. Fantastic front nine. Tom Kite scored a birdie on hole 13 to go 5 under par. Lou Hinkle, birdie on hole 12, 9 under par up to first place. We are very happy with a 32 on our way out there. Up to 13th from 31st. Or 35th actually. Were we 35th? I think we were 35th going into this. Don't want to land in the bunker here. So take a little off the drive. 268 is fine. No draw or fade, thank you. Yeah, we probably wanted it more under the 100 there. And as soon as I start thinking about, oh, I've missed that, I then miss the accuracy. Isn't in an awful position, though. Hit it a little hard. That's okay. As long as it stops. Hail Irwin, birdie on hole 12. That's a three-way tie for the lead now. Oh. Oh, I didn't deserve that one. There's Lightski. Lightski? I think it's Lightski. Either way. He's now in the lead. That's a four-way tie, I think. And three strokes back to Ian Baker Finch in fifth. I don't like playing in the sand, Craig Stadler. That's why I'm taking a little bit off this tee shot. Because if you only hit your drive 230 yards, or 220 yards, it, fair enough, it leaves you a hell of a shot for your second. But you don't have to flirt with the bunkers. He said, about to hit it into the greenside bunker. <laughs> oh, yeah, I laid myself up for that one, didn't I? It's not a bad green. That's not bad, that's not bad. Par save. Can't see us yeah, having particularly too much to worry about on that green. It's good golf. It's not great golf. Accuracy not distance rewarded on the difficult par 4. The water can come into play much sooner than you think. Ooh, that's... I didn't miss that accuracy by much. I'm surprised to see it go quite so far left. And it's very short as well. Ooh.
Just don't miss the accuracy right, and you'll be fine. <laughs> That's okay. If it gets a good bounce... Mm. We're in the rough. Mm. Definitely went far away. Did want it slightly over the 75 there, so be interested to see how far this one rolls. Not very far as it happens. Uh, this isn't easy. It's also not as difficult as it might be. Go in. Ah. You know what, we've been flirting with danger for a while now. I'm not at all surprised to see a bogey coming in. You say generous fairway. I say can't get the green two anyway, so I'm not playing with them. Just get straight into this since we've got the wind. It's going to leave us hopefully about 120, 130. 83! Oh. Okay. Maybe a little hard. It's not bad. If we got the accuracy, we'd be absolutely laughing there. Mm, probably overall, touch of right to left on this one. Aim it to the outside edge of the cup. Let it drag its way back in. Mm. Okay, okay. We got a stroke back. <laughs> I, I don't quite know how we got there, but... Oh, look at the pin placement. Right in front of that bunker. Oh, wind's not nice. We just want this on the green. We know it's not going for the flag. Just on the green, please. That's very good. 20 inches below the cup. Oh. Give it a good bit of left side here. A good bit of power as well. I didn't give it enough either. That's okay. It's, it's a very good par. Safe tee shot. We went close with the putt, but that's okay. Aim at the fairway bunker. Don't mind if I don't. Lee Jansen. Two thirty-two. It's going to leave us a hundred. Sounds like a full sand wedge to me. Oh, could have been good. As it stands, it's not bad, but could have been very good. Eighteen feet. Ten inches above the cup, it's just down a step as soon as we hit the ball, so... Feel like we deserve that. To go in, I mean. A little cruel. A little cruel. Still four under. Bruce Leitsky, 10 under. Safest play on this exciting par 5, two shots down the middle of the fairway, onto the green in three. It is playing at 560. Which means we are certainly taking no risks.
We are not aiming for the flag. Mm, didn't want to miss the accuracy right there. That's going to swing. We're okay. Leave about 110. Yeah. Oh, I think we can justify the sandwich on this. Ah, we want it slightly over the 100%, so it's not going to be close. But it's not horrendous. 25 feet. Probably overall slightly left or right. It was slightly left or right, and it's gone in. Lee Jansen scored a birdie on hole 18 to go 5 under par, move up to ninth place. What about us? We scored a birdie on hole 16 to go 5 under par and move up to ninth place. That 7th place, how's that for contention? Time for another delicate tee shot. The water on the left can be intimidating, so stay right if you can. Don't mind if I do. Be very slightly right of the hole. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Bruce Dyski finishes as leader. Go to par on hole 18, stay 10 under par, remain in first place. Six inches above the cup, 29 feet away, we are aiming the ball left. Not massively left, but enough left that it will it'll definitely swing back in. A little over the 75, and hope for the best. I mean, I almost gave it less left-right movement, in which case it would have been incredibly close. Great finisher has it all. Huge waste bunker, sand and water. Long hitters will favour the left side fairway. Well, I've hit it right, but we're okay. Unless there's a bunker down that way. 307 yards. That's solid. Oh, there was a bunker down there. <laughs> We didn't miss it by much. Oh. Quite a lot's gone wrong on that one. We're on the green. <laughs> Heart in mouth moment. 24 feet for the birdie. This to go 6 under par. I think we just hit this. Fourteen inches above the cup, really? You expecting me to believe that I actually stopped short? It's a 67, it's a very good round. One bogey, six birdies. Can't have too many complaints about that. But thank you so much for watching. We'll have a quick peek at the leaderboard where we'll find we are tied seventh. One behind Jim Gallagher Jr. I think we are... are we five behind the lead? We must be five behind the lead. So we're going to need a lot of strokes made up before we start climbing the leaderboard. Yeah. 1 to 6th, then 1 to 5th. Then 1 to tie 3rd, then 1 to 2nd, then 1 to 1st. Mark Lai, 71, 73, 144, level par. He'll make the cut, but I don't think he's troubling us. We did beat him by six strokes today, that's that's good going. I think we no, we didn't quite have Wayne Grady with a 65 lowest score of the day. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.